Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gorn. In this video, we will talk about factoring non-perfect square trinomials or commonly known as general trinomials. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Last time, we have uploaded a video wherein we factored out perfect square trinomials. This time, on target naman natin are those trinomials that are not perfect squares. So here, I have prepared an example for you to review the parts of it a little bit. We have 3x squared minus 7x minus 6. And as you can see, I have boxed the values of a, which is 3, b, which is negative 7, c is equal to negative 6. Now let's get started. I have prepared two different cases among these four examples. And the first and second examples will serve for the first case. And the third and the fourth will serve for the second case. When I say case number one, that is for the trinomials in which the value of a is equal to one. Remember, the value of a is in front or the coefficient in front of x squared. Here in example number one, x squared minus two x minus three, what is the value of a? Okay, very good. The value of a here is definitely equal to 1, invisible 1. Now, how are we going to factor out a non-perfect square trinomial under case number 1 if the value of a is equal to 1? Let's have two sets of parentheses, and then we will factor first the first term, which is x squared. Definitely, the factors are x and x. If you will check that, try to multiply x times x is x squared. Now, our only problem now is the second terms the adding factors. So how do we do that? What we need to do is to figure out what are the factors of letter C, which is negative 3, that will add up to negative 2. Again, what are the factors of negative 3 nakapag inad natin or that will add up to negative 2 or for the value of b so the first numbers are 3 and negative 1 so try that and what is 3 times negative 1 the correct answer is negative 3 so we are correct with the value of c now let us check if we can get negative 2 by adding these numbers what is 3 plus negative 1. The correct answer is positive 2. So, hindi natin nakuha yung ating coefficient o yung value ng b which is negative 2. Meaning, 3 and negative 1 are not the factors that we needed. Next, what about negative 3 times 1? Is this negative 3? Yes. Now, let's check if we can get negative 2. If we will add this. Negative 3 plus 1 is equal to negative 2. If this is negative 2, meaning these are the terms that we need. So we have negative 3 and plus 1. These are the factors of the first example. Or, sir, can we write those factors as x plus 1 times x minus 3? Yes. We can also accept these factors. Okay? Now let's move on with item number two. Let me adjust the papers first. For number two, since the value of a is one, prepare tayo ng parenthesis dito. We have x and x. Now, let's try it in, on our mind. We have four. What are the factors of 4 that will give us the answer of 4? Can we use 4 times 1? No. Why? Because when we add this, it will, be, it will give us the answer of 5. What about 2 times 2? Is it possible? Yes. Because when we add this, it will become 4. Now, these are the numbers. We have x plus 2, then x plus 2. Or, 
we can also write this as x plus 2 raised to the second power. And these are the factors of example number 2. Okay? So let's move on with case number 2. When we say case number 2, guys, case number 2, this one naman, if the value of A is greater than 1. Look at the two examples. In number 3, we have here the value of A, which is 8, which is greater than 1. In number 4, we have a value here, which is 3, which is also greater than 1. Meaning, this example falls under case number 2. So, how are we going to factor out this kind of trinomial? So, here, so here, what we can do here is to multiply first the value of A, this is your A, and your C. Now, what is 8 times negative 15? The correct answer is negative 120. Now, our target here is to figure out what are the factors of negative 120 that will give us the product or the sum of positive 2? Okay, let's try. Ten and negative twelve. Ten times negative twelve is negative one twenty. Okay. Now, can this give us positive two? No, because when we add these two numbers, the the sum is negative two. What about if we will reverse the sign? Let's try negative ten and positive twelve. Still negative one twenty but it will give us the positive 2, meaning we will use these two numbers. So how are we going to do that? First, we will copy 8x squared. Then I will get 12 here. I will put here plus 12x. And then I will use negative 10. I will put it as negative 10x then negative 15. Kung mapansin nyo, I have break down positive 2x as 12x minus 10x. Then we will do factoring by grouping. I will group this one as 8x squared plus 12x. Then, what's next is I will use negative sign here. Then I will group this 2 or I will put here plus, and then I will group these two terms. This is the first group, huh? and this is the second group. Then quantity negative 10x minus 15. Then we can use common monomial factoring. As you can see, what is common in 8x squared plus 12x is what? What is common, guys? The common is, we can factor it out as 4x, and then this will become 2x plus 3. Then here, what is common? The common is negative 5. I will put here negative 5. So by the way, sir, paano nakuha ito? Um, ito, example. We have 8x squared divided by 4x, that is 2x. Then... 12x divided by 4x is equal to 3. Here, for the next part, negative 10x divided by 5, that would be 2x. The negative 15 divided by negative 5, that would be plus 3. Now, as you can see, guys, we have your common factor. We will copy that. Well, we have 2x plus 3. Okay, and then this common monomial factor outside the parentheses, we will put that inside the parentheses. We have 4x minus 5, and as you can see, 
these are now the factors of example number three. Okay? So, let's move on with number four. For number four naman, let us multiply first the A and C. So, what is 3 times negative 6? The correct answer is negative 18. Now, what are the factors of negative 18 that will give us the sum of negative 7? So, I'll, I'll be direct. The factors that we needed is negative 9 times 2. What is negative 9 times 2? Negative 18. Negative 9 plus 2, that is negative 7. So what we need to do here, copy this one. We have 3x squared. Then I will put it here, minus 9. Then attach your x variable. Then this positive 2 plus 2x. Then copy your negative 6. Factoring by grouping. First factor, we have 3x squared minus 9x. Second group, plus... 2x minus 6. Okay? What is common between 3x squared minus 9x? The common factor is 3x. We put in parenthesis. 3x squared divided by 3x is x. Negative 9x divided by 3x is minus 3 or negative 3. On the other group, what is common? Very good. The common is 2. Then, to figure out what's inside the parenthesis, 2x divided by 2 is x. Negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. And as you can see, same scenario with item number 3. We have a common, fact common factor here, which is x minus 3. This will serve as the first factor in our answer. Next, get this factors, 3x plus 2. And as you can see, this is now the factors of example number 4. So I hope guys learned something from this video on how to factor out non-perfect square trinomials. Now guys, as part of our routine, let me give you example number 5. And let me know sa ating comment section what is your answer in this problem. Let's try x squared plus 5x plus 6. So guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat and bye-bye!